you're so cold. Hi, it's Shannon and Caitlin from Homesteading in the Heartland. And we just got home from school. And she came out to play with the chickens. She had one of the Isa Browns. They're all in there. So our uh, coop is wrapped in six mil plastic to keep them warm. I'll kind of give you to keep them warm. So they're kind of spoiled. Oh, it's okay. Oh, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, gosh. Oops. And this is, that was, it'll give you, it's starting to snow a little bit out here. A few flakes coming down. There's the one garden, my trellis, and some braised beds. So, I'm going to go to see if I can flip the camera here. Okay, I am back. Um, I had to restart to flip the camera. Anyways, um, yesterday my daughter had dance in town and after I dropped her off, we were, um, or I, I mean, I was lost in thought with the Lord and praying in my head and at the stoplight saw uh, license plate EPH 614. Immediately I was like, oh, Ephesians 614. And Ephesians 614 um, is stand firm, then with the belt of truth, buckled around your waist with breastplate of righteousness in place. So the the last video I did, I talked about, Caitlin was writing down the important, she wanted to talk about the form of God, but I read it, what she wrote down. And Ephesians 6, 10 through 18 is the full armor of God. So it's ironic. I was like thinking about everything going on in the world and all the misinformation and MSM and how we have to just trust, it, the, trust in the Lord and not be deceived and ask through the Holy Spirit for discernment on what is truth and stick our ground, stick to our grounds and say, hey, I'm going to follow the word of God and my discernment says this. So, you know, we just have to have, trust the Lord and have faith. So I just felt like seeing that license plate was like God saying to me, you know, validating where, what I was thinking with everything, validating my, my thoughts and validating on us staying true to God and his word. And that's where we're at. So as long as we do that, there's nothing to fear. You know, how many times in the Bible, 106 times says fear not. We should not fear the Lord. We sh you should fear if you don't follow the word of God. You know, how many times does they, do they say that? But we should not fear as long as we do that because we have to trust his plan and what's going on and everything will work out in the end and all we know how the story ends and remember we win so that's what we have to look forward to and so many blessings here from freezing north dakota and you have a good one and we'll talk to you later oops i almost slipped and fell bye